right guys, we're doing something fun today. Again, we're always doing fun things. But today, I'm gonna go pick up my wheels from the powder coater. Yes, uh, I didn't tell you guys anything about it, but I dropped off my wheels uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, I got some new ones. Uh, I'll be revealing them shortly, but I dropped them off at a powder coating place up in Bremerton. It's called uh, Color Shift Coatings. And so far, those guys have been great up there. Really like them. Uh, definitely happy doing business with them again. But uh, right now we're heading to Tacoma Subaru. I gotta go pick up some tire pressure sensors, some OEM ones, that way I can retain my, you know, being able to read the pressure and the dash and all that crap. So we're gonna go do that first. Uh, looks like we're about 15 miles away and then we'll be heading straight to Bremerton to go pick up my new wheels. You guys see what they look like. Yeah. All right, so I made it to Tacoma Subaru. So far, I don't know where the hell their parts department is. I've been driving around. I just see service, service, and then sales. So I'm sure it's here somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna keep driving till I find it. All right, screw it. I'm just gonna walk in and ask somebody. But dude, that new Crosstrek? That's pretty dope. I kinda like it. I won't buy one, but it's cool. Someone will like it. Okay, got it figured out. So it is in that building. You go inside and then you walk down some stairs and you go to your left and there's the parts department. Kinda weird, but eh, it works. So one thing I think is kind of interesting, uh, I got my four tire pressure sensors here. It, the sensors, they just keep getting smaller and smaller on these newer cars. This thing's freaking tiny. It's actually kind of cool. It means, you know, less weight. And if you have a 2022 or a 2023 WRX, this would be the part number that you need for the OEM tire pressure sensors, at least for now. They keep updating and superseding the parts. Because it looks like the one ending in FL013 is for a 2023 WRX only. I don't know if they did like a split year thing, like maybe halfway through the production cycle, they decided to change the sensor or what the crap. But anyway, so this uh, this will work for mine. And uh, once we're done, we'll get it all programmed. But now we're on our way to head up to Color Shift Coatings in Bremerton. Let's go. <laughs> is that a volunteer cop? I don't think I've seen one of those since I used to go to the skate park and then the old people will come and kick me out for not wearing a helmet. <laughs> That's great. All right, should be pulling up to it right now. There it is. I believe that's Alan's car right here. This thing's actually pretty nice. A little Audi. Sweet, let's go in and uh, see what my wheels look like. All right, so this is Color Shift Coatings. They got some pretty cool stuff up on the wall. Got some nice wheel designs here. They do a bunch of different custom ones if you want. Check those out. And then all the different prismatic powder colors. When you come here and see if you, you know, find one that you like. And then uh, here's Amy over here. She runs the front desk and probably a lot of other things too. She's, okay. she's great, she's super nice. And Alan's here somewhere, I don't know where he's at. So if you guys need a powder coating done, you can come down here and they'll do full service. They'll actually take your uh, wheels off your car, take the tires off, powder coat the wheels, and get it all back and ready for you. So it's pretty cool. Pretty much do it all here. I think their powder coating room's in there. It's actually pretty cool. But... Sweet, let's go check this out. So this is their, their powder coating room. They do all the magic. Got a big old booth over there. Oh, there's Alan. He's a <laughs> this is perfect. What's he got in his face? Powder. Nice. Cross chrome. A little messy, huh? Yeah, a little bit. That's great. Got a little blasting cabinet. Got some other wheels. Oh, this is cool. I wish I had one of these in my backyard. Sweet. All right, here they are. Whoo, they look good. So we ended up doing a, um, was it Prismatic Powders Super Chrome? Yeah, Super Chrome Plus with the uh, Casper Clear, or not Casper. The Clear Vision, I clear think vision. it was, right? Yeah. yeah Casper These look great. I'll get some more of this later. But uh, we're just gonna be putting the stock tires back on them. These will be fine for now. They got barely any miles on them and <clears throat> be good for Somerset. 
And then we'll get them uh, clear coated and keep them nice and clean. Whoo, look at these! Those look so good! I can't wait to put all these on my car. Every one of them looks pretty much spectacular. Got a nice shine to it out here in the little bit of sun we got. Oh, that's great. Hell yeah. Thanks, bro. No problem. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so finally gonna head back home now. I'm really happy I got my wheels in the back. They're all stuffed back here. Uh, I can't wait to see how this looks later on. And uh, I think it's gonna be amazing. All right, now back to the shop we go. About a about an hour drive, so we'll resume later. And back on the road again. Just a couple more things I wanted to mention. So when I first met these guys at uh, Color Shift Coatings, they, they were super nice. And I want to say throughout the whole process, because I I came in and I was like, hey, I want my wheels to be gold. Um, I ended up kind of changing it halfway through after he already coated one wheel and that was my fault and it's only because that super chrome base that we put on it just looks so good that it's stuck in my head and uh, after seeing it I was like man can we just do that because it, it just looks so good you know and um, so he he took it to get it chemically stripped uh, the one that he had painted gold and I don't think he even charged me for it and like he was just trying to provide good customer service you know and i appreciated that so like i gave him a little tip at the end but um the whole process was great i know those guys moved up here from colorado and i, I think they did detailing for a lot of years down there and they came up here and were like man there's just detail shops everywhere like what are we going to do so instead of you know competing with everybody else they're like let's do powder coating because there's no freaking powder coaters around here so they've uh, so far been doing great and they only opened up like several months ago but they're putting out killer work and good customer service and i always try to support local businesses as much as i can so if you guys want something powder coated and you're in the greater seattle area or wherever just just go check them out man it's totally worth it um i, I think you'll be happy in the end yo look at this panamera gts bro thing sick Woo. try and get some try and get some smoke Okay, so is it, is it just me or, uh, I mean, obviously not right now, but don't you hate when there's people in front of you in the left lane going exactly the speed limit? My God, I had to go around so many people just to get to where I am now. And like, if you're not out here to, if you're not, uh, uh, fuck. Sorry, I got a little frustrated. If you're not out here to break laws, like get out of the left lane, man. That's what we're here for. We criminals. We speeding. We trying to get places. We got time. To just screw around. Okay, bye. STI, what's up, man? You trying to get the smoke too? Woo! Oh, okay, finally back to the shop. Now we gotta go and bring these wheels in. And we're back. I got my wheels sitting out. So, for those of you that are wondering, what wheels are these? Well, it's a brand called Super Speed, and they're actually a Canadian company. Uh, I found them about a year and a half ago, I think. Um, and I ended up buying some of their wheels for my GR86. And I really liked them because they're lightweight. It's flow formed. Um, they're really nice looking too. But I got these ones as a really good deal. They had them on sale on Labor Day. And in the gray color, it was even cheaper. So I ended up not paying a whole lot of money for them because I knew I was going to get them powder coated anyway. So I was like, why not? But these things are amazing. Uh, I weighed the wheel when the tire was off of it. And it weighed exactly 19 pounds. And this is an 18 by 9.5 uh, plus 38 wheel. So it's going to be perfect size and lightweight, which is what I was going for. I mean, anytime you have a lightweight wheel, you're going to have better gas mileage, less drivetrain stress, um, faster acceleration. It... You know, anytime you reduce rotating weight on the axles, it really helps the car out. And this powder coat looks great. I wanted to do something unique that no one around here is doing. So, got some wheels that probably not a whole lot of people have heard of. And got a nice coat on there that no one else has. And just for curiosity's sake, let's put... Let me see. 
Let's get this wheel on here and see how much it weighs with the tire all together. If I can eh, get that on there. Forty six point two pounds. So that's not terrible for a wheel and tire combo. Yeah, forty six point two. In fact, it really goes to show you just how much oops. It really goes to show you just how much tires can weigh. Because if the wheel only weighs 19, I mean, the tire weighs over that much. So, but I, but I bet if we were to compare the stock wheels, oh man, those things probably weigh so much more. So overall, we're reducing rotating weight, and they really don't feel very heavy when you pick it up. Anyway, so that concludes our video for today. Um, I'm not putting the wheels on yet because tomorrow I'm actually going to be going on a long drive all the way to South Dakota. I should say over the next few days, but um, maybe I'll record that too. It might be kind of a fun video. Do a little little road trip and uh, keep track of it. But we're definitely going to be throwing these on here soon just to see how it looks. Once I get my coilovers in and uh, some other things as well. So uh, keep watching. And... Uh, let's see you later.